Good Christmas morning. We're here with Gloria Reeves Poe, who is just about to open a gift from her niece, Michelle, Mickey. Yep. Oh, is this the one from the girl next No, that, time? Mama, that's from Michelle. You sure? Yes, it was in the ho, ho, ho. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> All right, well, we're going to start this um, interview now with Gloria America Reeves Poe, and we're just going to ask her a couple of questions, and then we'll resume later. Uh, Gloria, uh -huh. please tell us your very first memory of your sister Lois. Oh, uh, my very first memory of my sister Lois, she was sick. She was in the bed, and the doctor came to see her. Do you remember how old she was and how she old? She was 12. Oh, okay. All right. And I was three. And you were three. And that was, what was the house that you were living in at the time? 1012 Cross Street, Chattanooga, oh. Tennessee. All right. And that's the location now of a riverfront area, right? Right. Okay. We'll come back to that later. But tell us about your sister. Describe your sister to her uh, niece, two nieces and uh, I'm sorry, describe your sister to her two daughters and son and all of their offspring. Um, well, I don't know what you mean, describe. What was she like? Was she quiet, outgoing, smart, popular, funny? Well, you know, as a, as a little girl looking up at her, yeah, to me she was very popular. She was outgoing and I... And smart, uh, she and she was very conscientious about her schoolwork. Uh, she would stay up late at night uh, uh, doing her uh, study, studying her biology. I remember, especially studying biology for Mr. Haynes' class. And uh, I remember it was during the war, and we had a blackout. All the lights were supposed to be out, and we thought we had turned all the lights out in our house. And the and the policeman came and said. There's a light in the back bedroom in this house. And my sister said, I was studying my biology. <laughs> <laughs> now, you remember um, her boyfriend, Harold, mm -hmm. and your father not liking her boyfriend, Harold. That's part of your memory as a child. Tell us a little bit about oh, Lois and Harold. Oh, Lord, yes. That's, that's, that's my, one of my first memories. I guess she must not have been more than 13 of 14 when she and Harold got hooked up and back then I guess you didn't have to have a driver's license because he drove a car and I know he wasn't over 14 years old and and he would pick her up he would bring her home from school and uh, then my daddy got mad so then they would park down the street and he would let her out and, I, and, and of course I would go and tattle. <laughs> and I saw Harold let her out down the street. <laughs> wow. All right, well, um, now tell us your first memory of Janice, and then Mickey, and then Louis. Okay, all right, well then, I remember when, when my sister came home from from college, and uh, she had this this boyfriend uh, that, that she was dating. Uh, and, well, they were already engaged by the time we even heard about him. And, and he was coming to meet the family at Christmas time, her, her senior year in college. And so we were all gathered around waiting for the, the young man to come. And the young man came and knocked on the door, and we invited him in, and we talked and talked. And all of a sudden, he wasn't the one. He was somebody else. Uh, his name was John Franklin, and he had, he had heard that Sylvester was coming to town, and he wanted to see him. But uh, anyway, later on... Uh, the uh, Sylvester arrived, and uh, so that was when we that was met when her. We met Sylvester. That was uh, Christmas. Uh, must have been 1947. Wow, that's wonderful. And they married when? They married September the 5th, 1948. Where? In our living room at 1012 Cross Street in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Just like you did. No, I didn't marry him. I live in Oh, okay. Oops, that's another story. Now tell us your first memory of your very first 
niece, Janice. Oh, okay. So, so then a year after uh, 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 Los and Sylvester got married, uh, we were waiting for, for the new baby that was coming. And all I remember is uh, I went, my, my mother went to Nashville to be with Lois uh, when the new baby came. And I went to my grandmother in Fayetteville. And oh, I was so excited. I was telling everybody. And I remember the day we got the call that the baby had been born and her name was Jim Brown needs to talk to you. Janice. Okay, we're going to pick up with the Janice story soon. Thank you.